this guy is a level eight. That should be relatively easy to tame. And this guy is a level 88, which should be not an easy tame. Hello guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Guys, today is update day. That's right. I actually did an episode before this that I don't know if it's airing yet or not because I just finished recording and the update just dropped. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to publish first. So if things appear out of order, I'm sorry. But we got a new haircut. <laughs> Check out Emrakul. There was a fur pass that was done, and a lot of stuff looks different, including the little bristles on top of uh, the Quetzal's head. Let's see what else has changed. We got a little bit of textury changes on the Argents. Ooh, they look fluffy. Fluffy! <laughs> it's beautiful. Carrier pigeons, fluffy. I wonder if the... Ooh, there's Prancer. Okay, so Punez still looks the same. Prancer, yeah, Prancer's a little bit fuzzy in the face. That's really cool. Let's go. <laughs> the woolly mammoth's got to be. Oh, let's check our Quetzal. Adolescent Quetzal still's got a way to go. Uh, we okay on food, Adolescent Quetzal? Yeah, you're doing just fine. Keep on eating, sweetie pie. All right. Thank you all guys so much for all the support on the videos, by the way. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dap. Oh, my God. On that like button to show you support for the series and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos check out this <laughs> the woolly mammoth is woolly like crazy look at how mossy i love it i love it it kind of looks weird the way it comes through the saddle like that kind of like the um the cold weather armor does in the map and stuff is a little bit of glitchiness but man it start it it looks amazing i love it i wonder what it looks like from the top look his little hairdo oh that is beautiful you are gorgeous timbaland look at you you went and get your hair did i'm so proud of you <laughs> anyway guys i hope y'all are having a wonderful day I tell you what, uh, we gotta go just check out an anglerfish like right now. That's that's what I've been wanting to do. I mean, penguins are cool. I'm sure everybody's taming a penguin right now. I really want to tame an anglerfish, and maybe we could check out somebody else's penguin too. Uh, let's see. I do have my scuba stuff on me. Uh, let's take Archangel. I think that's gonna be the best way to do it. We'll take Archangel to the edge of the river. I got my crossbow bolts. I got a journeyman crossbow on me and uh, some tranquilizer darts, about 80 of them. Well, tranquilizer arrows. I can't use the darts because that's a rifle and they do not fire in the gun. Also, let me change my bloom quality and my light shaft so it's not so bright. I might have did that already because it didn't make much of a difference. How about my gamma? Yeah, that was it. All right. It's not so bright anymore. So let's see. Trouble should be where we left her, and that'll be a good spot for us to kind of set out and see what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and kill these snakes right here because they're a little bit too close. Sometimes they go into the water and um, they cause a little bit of trouble, and I'd just rather not. Trouble always gets into trouble as it is. I think we should be okay. Um, I'm doing this mainly because I think we're going to need prime meat for the anglerfish. I'm pretty sure they're carnivores, right? Look at the snakes. All right. Uh, let's see. Man, snakes everywhere. I have to kill these dillos before they um, they take all of my goods. Because they will eat them. And I want to get that long harvest time from my pick. Don't spit at me. All right. Well, what did we salvage? One snake. All that for one snake. That's okay. My pike's almost broken too, man. All right. Four harvested prime meat. I don't know how hard it's going to be to tame the angler. Oh, look. Another one. Let's do that one too. I love this fur. Look. Oh, we didn't get anything from that. Archangel looks beastly with that fur. I kind of like it. All right. Let's go out and... Yeah. There's our people. All right. So. 
Leviathan has Trouble's old saddle. And I do not want to go down there with the uh, the platform. I don't think I do anyway. Uh, so let's see here. Let's take this saddle off. We're going to trade up right now. I can always make Star another saddle too if he, if he wants the regular one. Uh, let's see. Okay, there's the regular saddle. Platform saddle goes on that one. Let's get some O2. And Trouble's going to get her regular old saddle back. There we go. Good old trouble. Okay, let's take our... Uh, let's see, we don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need this. We need this, this, and this. Perfect. Let's head on down. All right. So we don't have a whole lot of prime meat on us. Only a few. But it should be enough to do the dang thing. We're looking for an anglerfish. That's a shark. But I can see prime meat in our future. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. All right. Trouble getting the level. That's perfect. We're going to keep adding to stamina. So she is a little bit more beastly than ever. And there are a couple more sharks there. Don't y'all know? Trouble is the king of the sea. King of the sea. All right. Now, where are the anglerfish? All right, you guys. We found one. You see it? <laughs> it's twinkling. Uh, there's also a Plessy right there, which is going to be a little bit hard to deal with. Uh, I don't know if we can get close to it and just kill the Plessy or what, but I'm going to try that. Maybe the Plessy will aggro on me, or I can bring the fish up a little bit higher. I'm not too sure how they behave yet. I want to get a closer look at it, but, <laughs> but I'm kind of paranoid about it. All right, the Plessy's far enough away. Let me just get in there and kill it. What level is this guy? Good lord. Alright, let me turn around so... Make sure I'm not damaging that, uh... That angler. Nope. Not damaging the angler. Good. That's what I was hoping for. Alright. Level up. I've gotten quite a few of those since I've been out here. Okay, there's the anglerfish coming. Uh, alright. What's the easiest way to do this? Probably to get over here and whistle passive. All right. And let's see here. Let's equip the crossbow. Where did they go? Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Y'all was sparkling just a second ago. Is that? Yeah, that's you. That's you right there. Alright. I think I just hit it once. Oh no, is there another one? Yep, there's another one attacking it. Oh, that's a level 36. I'm gonna hit him a few times. Trouble's full on health, so I should be able to... kind of mitigate the damage between it. If... <laughs> If she would get out my way. Wait, is it is it unconscious? No, it's not. It's just running away. <laughs> what the heck? Do they get scared? Why? How can the arrow splash? By the way, that's a little bit weird. Ouch! No, 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 no! <laughs> no, that hurts. That hurts. All right. Come on, baby. Knock out. I wonder how hard they are to trank. Thank goodness for flippers, too. It doesn't seem like it's hitting them sometimes. That definitely hit them because it started the music. Dude, how many arrows are you going to take? That must have been like, what? I had 50 to start with. That was like 25. Quit hitting on trouble. All right. I, I, I'm guessing, like, are, are headshots important? Because it's almost all head. 
I mean, there's a little bit of tail, I suppose, but... And I keep missing him straight up. Trouble is confusing me. Trouble, stay still for a minute, baby. Where'd the fish go? There's the fish. Where are the sparkles at, dummy? All right, it's unconscious. Woo! All right. Uh, where's trouble? Trouble. Oh, there you are. All right. Just so you're not going for. All right. I should have some prime meat on me. I imagine they're carnivores since it tried to eat me. Uh, and I do have plenty of narcotics and stuff. It doesn't look like I have much in the way of um, of prime meat on me, but I should have some on trouble. Let's see here. Yeah, I got some prime. Uh, let's see how fast these are going to expire. Hopefully not too bad. Let's see. So, prime, 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 and raw. And let's see. It looks like the prime expires in like five minutes. That's not too bad. Where was that Plessy Corpse? Was it even around here? Also, I want to see how it looks when, uh... The brightness? Hold on, where'd it go? Did I just lose it? Oh, no, there it is. Oh, it's... Oh, it's light is only visible when you're looking directly at it. It's not like it doesn't have a luminance. That's kind of weird. Alright. Um... I'm trying to see where I can go... To get maybe some prime meat without going too far. I imagine it'll be fine. It hasn't eaten yet. Oh, its torpor level is going down. I wonder how much one prime meat is going to give me. That's the question. So right now its food is about 30 points down. So at 50 points it should eat a prime meat. Yeah, it's going to be rough to tame it with prime. Um, without losing it, that is, especially in the dark like this. I wish a passerby would come along and I would notice it before it would get too far along. Uh, I am going to need some narcotics. So let's go ahead and get those. And 50 ought to do it. At least I'm hoping so. And I lost it again. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm going to make sure trouble doesn't move so I can keep an eye on it all right and let's see how many points should be eaten in about eight points here I'm gonna use a few narcotics on it and we'll see what happens as soon as it takes its first bite not too bad not too shabby uh, <laughs> I know for a fact that I won't have enough prime meat <laughs> to do this. Uh, so that's going to be a little bit insane, but uh, who knows? We might be able to find some around here. This is going to be a close one, guys. See its unconscious meter, how low it is? It's still got a couple of feeds left. I was lucky enough to get some sharks that kind of passed by here without leaving too far so I wouldn't lose it. But narcotics doesn't seem to work on it at all. Like... The torpor is 390, okay? Let's see, remote use. 378. Like, what the heck, man? It actually drops when I use narcotic on it sometimes? That's ridiculous. So I might have actually used narcotic, not even thinking about it, I might have actually did something to, to reverse the process. It's still got about two or three more bites, and this torpor is going to be really, really, really low. Um, to try to get it up. It still has like another probably man like almost like 35 point another 85 points and three and two meat to eat before it happens. I, I really don't know if this is gonna happen guys. The torpor is dropping a little bit too fast for me to do anything to. I hope I don't have to knock it out again because if I do I really don't have enough arrows to do that. Oh, it actually, it woke up. <laughs> oh, no. All right, guys, here we go again. <laughs> this time, there's a couple of them. And I'm going to try my best to pay attention to the torpor a little bit more. And I've got plenty of prime meat saved up, by the way. 
plenty of prime meat. What level are these guys? This guy is a level eight. That should be relatively easy to tame. And this guy is a level 88, which should be not an easy tame. All right, I'm actually gonna try to go for both of them here, if I can. Don't go too far, fishy. The eight is more important for me for concept. As soon as I get some, some prime meat on it, I'll be happy. Then I can go for the other ones. Did I just miss it point blank? <laughs> Come on, baby, go to sleep. Oh, okay, it went to sleep. All right, I hit its taming effect on this, but well, maybe. Let's see. I know it hurt. I know it hurt. Oh, God. What happened? Oh, did it eat the other fish? It sure did. Oh, no, maybe it didn't. Uh, maybe it did. Hold on. Is it dead? No, it's unconscious. Good. And I did get meat on it, so it's okay. Um, let's see. I'm hurting pretty bad here. Let me make sure some meat's on it. I'm going to get over to trouble. And I'm going to eat some food and heal up a little bit. <laughs> we'll see what we got. All right. Also, I'm going to harvest this guy for some prime. There we go. Lots and lots and lots of prime. Okay, trouble. Let's go. Thankfully, I had a little bit of, uh, I needed a little bit of food here. So let's see. Go back over here. That level 88. I don't know about that, guys. <laughs> I don't know about them. I want to make sure this 8 is done. And then we can see what's going on. All right. So far, it still hasn't eaten. All right. All of these things have a pretty high timer on it. That's good. I'm really not going to try the um, the thing with the narcotics. I think I'm just going to let it be for a little while and see how this goes. As as level eight, when is it going to eat? in about 17 points we'll see what it does if i have to stick it with an arrow i will i really don't want to but if i have to i will no way i'm gonna keep this guy's torpor up enough so this is what i'm gonna have to do just to get him uh let's see his taming effect of it. it's only a level eight so i mean who cares right let's go ahead and put some meat on him and remote use and get his health back up all right. 400. And 500 will be another one. I got enough raw meat to do this all day if I have to. All right. Torpor is 500. Okay. Let's go ahead and give it a headshot. Uh, wrong. <laughs> wrong one. All right, guy. All right. And how much damage did I do to it? Not that bad. And its torpor went up significantly. Let's give it one more. Okay. <laughs> Taming effectiveness 27.3. But it's only like one or two levels difference. So who cares? Alright. Dang, man. These things are tough. Like, not being able to use narcotics is huge. I really don't know, so it really doesn't matter. Well, getting a high level with uh, with no taming effectiveness is still getting a high level. You know, the stats will still be higher. So I'm really not sure on on what they're good for yet, but I know I want one because they're cool looking. Uh, yeah, we'll keep on going with this, guys. Hopefully, we'll we'll make it work. Any second now, it's gonna take another bite. I don't know if it's going to tame out or not. There it is. You have tamed an angler. Man, what a fiasco that was. So, wow. Really, really interesting. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to name it, though. Um, how about uh, Bright Eye? 
<laughs> even though it's not really, uh, even though it's not really uh, an eye. Bright eye. Hi, bright eye. Let's take a look at you now that uh, now that you're all there. Ooh, you are a cutie. You only do have one. Oh no, you do have two eyes. <laughs> it just looks really, really weird. Okay, attacking target. We can ride them. Oh, now this is pretty neat. I like this. No saddle, no nothing. Let's go ahead and take these glasses off. Just so y'all can see. There we go. Pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so we have our first anglerfish. Now, I don't know exactly what good their stats are. Their movement speed seems to be 100. Melee attack is 212. Weight is 364, which is not that much, but... It's a good option, I think, um, next to the Ithi. I really do think it's a good option next to the Ithi because they're they're probably going to be a little bit stronger. Ithis are notorious for being like very very squishy. So trouble, come on, let's go. Uh, let's go try something out. So the health, our health is still really high. They do swim pretty fast. I mean, it's no Plessy, but. You know what I mean. All right, and there was that level 88 around here. I would like to see if we can find it again. Oh, and it's foggy on the water. That's why we can't see anything. There's that other one. Okay, how about we just try to kill this thing instead? Ready? Come back here. Oh, that wasn't. <laughs> it's so hard to see. There we go. We killed it. Okay. Sweet. Let's get some of its goods. Nothing on it. First of all, what level was it? Yeah, that was the 88. All right. Another 123 Angler Gel. Now, I don't know what this does. But, I'm sure you guys can tell me in the comments. That's cool. Now, since it's foggy and stuff, I just need to get back home. Where am I? Holy cow! Southern coast! Okay, I got a little trip ahead of me. Ooh, well, that was somewhat of a perilous journey, you guys. <laughs> like, I fought a lot of sharks. I mean, a ton. No plessies or anything, because I stayed towards the top, but... Thank goodness, it came a, a couple times I was really, really close to death with this fish. Uh, the Plessis, the turning radius is not so good, and sometimes it's hard to get a control of things on the water, but I am really glad I got back. So let's see this guy in the light. Now that we don't have all of that stuff on. Looks really, really cool. Actually, let's take away the overlay with the backspace key. Yeah, they look pretty darn cool. Then little tentacles could stick out the water. I bet you at night this really, really looks good. Is that a blue glow? Let's go gamma zero and see. Yeah, it's a really blue glow. I really like the look of that. It's neat. So I'm still wondering what I can do with all of these, these, uh, these gels that they have. Maybe it said something about. Let's let's look at it again, because I know it said something about. Uh, being able to use it for burning something a thick viscous substance that can sustain a flame for a m remarkably long duration huh I wonder if it's like spark powder or something well at any rate my guys are okay everybody's back let's head to base and experiment all right you guys I'm willing to bet this stuff works kind of like spark powder based on the description Uh. Light fire, that's it. I should have known when it went in the furnace. Well, that's cool. And I guess it burns long like spark powder. I'm hoping so. That would be pretty neat. The, I mean, the, the fish aren't that plentiful. So I don't think it's going to replace spark powder. But it is better than gathering stone. At least it's a supplement. And as much as I do go out for pearls and stuff. Which, by the way, I got a ton on that trip. Let's see. I know it's kind of bright, you guys. But look, I got 10 stacks here along with all of that other stuff. Uh, the organic stuff. Um, and I'll go ahead and put these in there, too. So roughly almost 300 of that... Um, <laughs> what is it called again? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Almost 300 of the angler gel. 
Um, a thousand pearls right there, because I only had about 30 or 50 pearls before I left. And around 500 right here. Yeah, 50. That was the that was the amount of pearls I had before I left. So almost 1,500 pearls from that trip, 300 angler jail, and an anglerfish tame. That is absolutely bananas. I'm starting to hear things like the the penguins that are available in the uh, the Northeast Peninsula drop organic polymer that you can use in recipes. That's going to be fantastic because obsidian is heavy. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Next time we come back, I guess we'll go play around with those penguins. And I've been hearing a lot of reports on uh, Star and Slip tamed a very high level male quets. So I might bring my quets over to hook up. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.